right hey everybody it's time for the update for this week and I'm starting in the front of the house this giant bush you see here is raspberries and also a little bit of hosta don't like the hosta but it we've been getting rid of it it used to be like the whole end of that piece of, of front you know planting area so now I put in a couple of little ones and they're getting into the grass. They're getting spreading around. We should have some berries here soon, I hope. Lovely raspberries. And then here's our front box. We got some fun things to light up at night when it lights up. And also some tulips. They come up every year and have been doing really well. And let's see. Like I said, those are nice. And we've got another little little guy there that uh, flamingo that we got a few little while ago. Oh, making a mad dash over here. I finally got the uh, bleeding hearts uh, planted. Now one's doing super well. The other one's doing pretty well. And the other one's doing okay so let's see here wow it looks like somebody tried to dig that one I think I have to put some more dirt there there we go we put a little bit of dirt back on that so it can come up correctly and looky here, this one, if you can see, we have pink bleeding hearts. And they are already out and about. And then this one is the third one. And it's got a whole little set that's going to come out on it and be real pretty. And needless to say, I've got mowing to do yet again. We got to love that. But here's where we're going to put like all of our bags that we like to do up against the, the fence. And we're going to have the pool area. And here we go. Looky what the peony is growing like crazy. Look how big it's getting. There we go. Nice peony. And we've got this is our big first cherry. Hopefully, it will give us lots of lovely, lovely cherries this year. And here's our cow Robbie box. Let's see here. If we pull this off, you can see a um, nice little green coming in. And let's see, we got green in a couple of those. We're going to keep, keep the little hoods on just to try to keep things from eating them. And we got some Brussels sprouts. Let's see, we got this one here. That's going to be our Brussels sprouts. Got a couple others, about three others. Um, looks like there's another one. See, nice green little head there. Alright, and looks like our, let's see. Our cabbage may not have come up. It looks like it's pretty well done. But it's got lots of weeds in there, so we'll plant the next thing. And then cabbage. Looky here. Or cauliflower, sorry. Cauliflower. We got three good batches of that. The fourth didn't come up. 
that's okay. Let's see. I kind of skipped the second cherry tree that's growing like a weed. It still has a little bit of bloom left on it. There we go. And look who is doing really well. Stick. <laughs> Stick is doing great. Coming out with nice leaves. Nice and tall. Yeah, gotta love stick. <laughs> and then, surprise of surprises. One of our little persimmons decided to really grow. My goodness, he's got all, she has got all kinds of leaves on it. Still got more grass to take off, but yeah. And Mr. Pear Tree, the big one, is growing real big, as you can tell, way up in the sky. And we had lots of blooms on it this year, so hopefully we'll get quite a few pears. And, um, yeah, I don't think we're getting any asparagus this year. Hate to say that, but looks kind of like that's going to be the case. And then our another little persimmon tree that we tried really hard. But I am not giving up. You never know when, as I like to affectionately call it, stick to. Might come back and join us. And again, I have got to mow again. So here is the nice quick... update on our garden can't wait to plant some more stuff in our other two boxes which are nice and growing right over here or not growing but sitting here ready to plant all right guys you have a great day and hope you enjoyed this little update thanks bye